I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds. Oh, hey there. I see you come over. I was just checking the rain's pH level. Acid rain is caused by carbon emissions, which attach to wet components in the air, causing uh, carbonic acid to form. Such components can include clouds, rain, dew, snow, and fog. The combination results in a lower pH level, thus making it rain or one of the other components more acidic. Realistically, this would probably not burn your skin, unless, well, it was extremely bad. Now, when carbon dioxide is mixed with uh, normal distilled water, it uh, forms the carbonic acid, but since it's a uh, distilled water, it has a pH of about 5.6, and if it's um, probably one of the wet components of the atmosphere, it generally would have more chemicals in it, making it a little more acidic. Now, acid rain also it kills insects and aquatic animals, causes damage to buildings, and uh, it can even cause birth defects, such as... Acid rain is caused by carbon emissions. And uh, the main carbon emissions would be like coal or automobiles that are gas guzzlers. Uh, good ways to prevent this is to get like a hybrid vehicle or uh, actually even sometimes uh, electricity. Just keeping on lights in your house for too long can cause it. So it'd be uh, better if you were to uh, uh, turn off lights every once in a while when you're not in a room or turn off your t te your uh, television set when you're, when you're uh, not watching it. And uh, pretty much that's uh, good ways to prevent it. Uh, There's some companies that uh, use the FGD uh, or the uh, flu gas uh, desulfurization, where in power plants basically it's where they uh, they uh, get they clean the coal that they use. It uh, it it uh, they remove the sulfur rather, and uh, it, it it helps the environment which is really great. It prevents acid rain, which is uh, good. And uh, one reason why acid rain is important to prevent is, uh, like I said, it actually it kills also animals of nature. It kills trees. It destroys buildings and statues. It causes uh, lakes to become dead lakes, which means that there's absolutely no life forms living in it. And uh, these are all good reasons to uh, take these precautions uh, it's to prevent more of what has happened to happen in the future and also to prevent it all from worsening and uh, causing something kind of like this, even though it's pretty unlikely. Anywho, that just about covers it. So, see you next time! <laughs>